All right. Hey, uh, this week's Creative Loafing segment, pretty interesting. It involves it involves charity. It involves journalism. It involves uh, uh, a local band. Yeah. There's a lot going on here. And an amazing cause. And basically, this is a story that's going to unfold by our variety of guests today. So Leilani <laughs> Polk from Creative Loafing is with us. Wait, wave your hand. There's Leilani. <laughs> Julian <laughs> Hernandez, who won a contest, the, the Creative Loafing Holiday Auction, to do a story with his favorite band. The budding journalist. Paul Wilson, who's a member of the Wilson Band. And Lorraine Yaslowitz, who is uh, representing the Gold Shield Foundation today, and uh, the widow of Jeffrey Yaslowitz, who is a fallen officer here in the Bay Area. And we're going to explain how everybody works together here in an, the most amazing way. And Leilani, this is going to start with you, yes. uh, because you are obviously our crea creative loafing representative. Mm -hmm. So how did Julian come to be the choice to interview the Wilson Band? Um, he requested it. Uh, we have a holiday auction every year. We come on here and talk about it. Holiday. He wrote the biggest check. Uh, he wrote the biggest check. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> interview your favorite band. There you go. Um, interview your favorite band is one of the um, things we auction off for music. Of course, we do say we don't know if we can get the interview. We hope that they would do it because for charity. Um, and uh, this is how it worked out. We reached out to Patrick Wilson's people and we saw that they were playing this charity day and we're like, this seems like a perfect match. And, and the guys are playing the fundraiser to benefit fallen officers. Yeah. And so you have interviewed, have you interviewed all members of? I, I just got to interview um, Brother Patrick. Okay. I'm yeah. available later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect Offering. opportunity yeah. to make this happen here. But uh, so then Julian, how did it come to be then that you did make contact with Patrick then originally? Well, like uh, I, I was try I was spending time trying to figure out what band I wanted to interview, and then when like w when I realized that the Wilson band was coming, when you guys were coming, and I knew that you guys were from here, I figured that would be the best thing, just because I know they're brothers that play, and that's kind of how I started playing guitar was like with my brother, because my brother played. And then it's for charity, and then it's like I don't know, it just felt like a good familial thing that I could like also be a part of and ask questions about, and mm -hmm. so I, I thought it was the best thing that I could do. So the interview is actually printed in this week's Creative Loafing. Yeah. Uh, the text of the of the phone interview right. uh, with Patrick. So, part of it. but part of part it. of it. Yeah, <laughs> they they took out all the dirty stuff. <laughs> so, they uh, talked for a very long time. It was, it was from what I could tell, being a reporter listening to his interview, it was really good. I mean, it was a really good, like lively <laughs> conversation. The yeah. interesting question, one of the interesting questions I thought you asked though was what, how you guys, uh, Paul, find time to to practice and rehearse. I mean, you all live in different locations. Yeah. How does that work? Well, we don't practice. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Rehearse. Well, until the so, night before the gig, he said. Well, yeah, and that's usually, what are we going to do? You uh -huh. know, what songs do we want to do? We, we've had, I'll tell you this, we've written some really good songs. Mark um, is quite the uh, musician, obviously, and we have been voice memoing back and forth. And Patrick was in, he's in New Orleans, he was in New Jersey, he was in Poland. So we'd write a little lyric or sing a little hooky part of a song, send it, then we'd send it back to each other and kind of tweak it. And so the voice memo is how we've been recording <laughs> That's and amazing. rehearsing. That's amazing. for technology, that is right? Amazing. Yeah. So this is what I've been picturing in my head. Tell me if I'm getting this right, because I didn't get the opportunity to read Julian's article yet. The Wilson van, I'm picturing you guys all in a van together, <laughs> like growing up as kids like making noise together and your parents being like, you guys should be a band. Yeah, it's not that dramatic. Okay. I mean, that's, that's much, maybe we'll add that for the book. Um, no, we, when we first started, it was for Mark's 40th birthday. Uh -huh. And, you know, it kind of started out as, you know, what Van So Hill this was songs? like 20 years ago. Just yesterday. Oh, okay. Fact. <laughs> um, and so Patrick and I were like, what kind of songs can you play, you know, completely? And Mark's like, well, oh, of course. So then it was like, uh, and he kind of figured out what we were doing because he wanted to have just a guitar uh -huh. at a bar somewhere and have him just, hey, Mark Wilson, and do his, you know, crazy. And then it turned into, learn this song, Paul, learn this song, Patrick. And then we had this concert at uh, in St. Pete, and a bunch of our friends showed up, and we just were like, this is kind of fun. And then it turned into, hey, why don't we do this for charity? And with Patrick's career, it's been, um, you know, hard to be together and do this more more often. But when we do, it's very special. And Lorraine, pretty cool to have the community come together. I mean, not just some local celebrities, uh, but I mean, everybody coming together uh, be because of the, the terrible thing that happened to your husband. But th this has got to make you feel good when, when everybody bands together and just has a night of fun okay. and it's all for mm -hmm. a great cause. And there's so many different types of, of honorable events that have been done, you know, in, in honor of our officers. But this is just, this is one of the upsides. It's fun. They, 
uh, Mark reached out to me to, to ask him to do some things for the Gold because he, he had talked to the Gold Shield president. Said, reach out to Lorraine; she's done some stuff for us. So, I, I owe them everything. I mean, they're just they're an amazing organization that's going to pay for our children's um, college funds. It's paying for my master's right now. So, it's an awesome. What awesome are you foundation. studying? Um, education, uh -huh. reading. I'm getting my master's in reading, so I can eventually move on to teach college and out of the classroom of the little ones and the big ones. How important is it to have uh, a fund like this that you're able to draw from as a family of an officer or a, a fire rescue or something like that? I mean, it's, it seems like just knowing that there's that support there must feel so much better. Oh, yeah, it's not just financially, but just, just the whole emotion of it, the mm -hmm. effect of it, just that there's people that care out there that see the sacrifice and they want to do something not just to to make us feel good, but to really actually help us in, on this earth with, with financial concerns. So. so this incredible story here coming full circle, <laughs> you can see the Wilson Band and be a part of giving back to Gold Shield uh, this weekend, and it's going to be Saturday at Club Detroit, which this is so cool because you guys are like the opening band for the, the reopening of Club Detroit, uh, the rechristening, if you will. And I believe we have a, a graphic we want to put up on the screen for everybody so that you have the information. There you go. So tickets are $20, and you can go to Ticketmaster.com to get those but I encourage you to also go to the wilsonband.com it's a great website and you can learn more about the van there and uh, you can also uh, pick up your tickets there's a direct link and we cannot end the segment until Paul stands up and shows everyone his pants, pants. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? pants. he's got his crazy TV pants on well, they're, they're Patrick's drapes <laughs> <laughs>